degrees, about time it gets dark My head on your shoulder, I'm around mine What's up guys? It's been a while and you know it's been a crazy year. Thankfully I've been staying busy um, but you know I just felt like shooting a video today and just kind of giving you guys an update of what's been going on in my life, um, you know what's been going on with my clients. I've uh, been working on one of the bugs lately so I'd like to show you the progress of that but and uh, yeah this shirt my friend Larry designed it and it got made into a blip shift shirt and so check out his company Bad News Supply um, he does all kinds of really cool automotive designs and here at the Kansas City Automotive Museum they're one of my Stephen Cook Media clients and there's a lot of really exciting stuff going on with them right now as well both here at this facility and future plans it's actually supercar and exotic month in the drive-in area right now so there's whole bunch of really cool stuff in there, but there's also a bunch of stuff in the museum that you haven't seen since the last video that I've shot. Pretty much every car in here is privately owned, so the uh, displays rotate all the time. You know, there's always different cars coming in, so it's, it's a lot of fun. It's not just like a static collection, you know, so I'll show you guys around real fast. So this is a 2006 Ford GT, and it's got one of the uh, Gulf Heritage paint jobs on it. You can see these huge rear tires, 345s. It's got the supercharged 5.4 V8. So we've got a little bit of everything on display in here and you know it's all packed in here. This is actually just our temporary facility. You know we've been here for a few years. Um, but basically we want to have a full-scale state-of-the-art facility in a few years so you know this is a, a way for us to get established and just you know make do with what we have and you know we've been extremely grateful for the support and just everything that we've been able to accomplish with the help of the car community so this area in here we call the drive-in area and this area it actually the exhibit rotates every month so every month we have a different theme in this area and right now it's exotics and supercars you know we've got everything from a ferrari 488 gtb to this alfa romeo 4c spider to this incredible 2020 ford gt heritage edition we've got a gtr we've got a gt3 porsche got a Pantera back here, classic Pantera, got an Aston Martin V8 Vantage, got a 2008 Ferrari 612 Scaglietti as well, so I mean we've got front engine, we've got mid engine, we've got rear engine, uh, you know the Porsche over there, so just a little bit of everything on display. So like I said, the museum is one of my Stephen Cook media clients. Um, I do their photos, I do their social media, help their marketing, and um, I have a few different clients that I do photos and social media for, and it's a blast. So I've actually got to go do some more stuff this afternoon, and then I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit and give you an update on my silver beetle that I've been working on lately. So it's been a lot of fun, and can't wait to show you guys that. So if you remember, last year I bought two classic Volkswagen Beetles and I got two cars, a whole bunch of parts, just a whole bunch of stuff from a guy that just wanted to get everything sold, um, just wanted to get rid of everything. So I got a 1977 and a 66, and the 77 was drivable and the 66 was just a roller, but uh, the 77, uh, you know, it's been a crazy year and so they've both pretty much just been sitting in my garage. Um, 77 I'd been driving just a little bit, you know, like as is, um, but it definitely needed some work. So I've always loved Baja bugs, and so the 77 was, it's basically a perfect candidate for a Baja conversion. So that's what I've been up to lately, just gathering parts and all that kind of stuff. And the past couple weeks, my dad and I, I'm at my parents' house right now in their garage. We've just uh, been 
actually making a ton of progress in the past couple weeks and we're going to try and have it done in about a month um, a month from now so just trying to keep it moving again it's going to be way better than it was uh, you know doing the floor pans a lot of rust repair so a lot of uh, you know function safety all that kind of stuff and then you know we're still going to paint it and do all that but it's mainly going to be you know driver's car versus like a show car or some kind of like you know perfect concourse car so here it is as it sits right now you know like i said we've really been working on it really for just a couple weeks and so we've been able to make quite a bit of progress all the baja fenders and panels they're just sitting on there right now just kind of like for a test fit they're not attached you know permanently yet or anything like that you can kind of get a feel for what it's going to look like uh, just the other night we actually cut the back off so it's official now you know there's no uh, no turning back <laughs> So you can just kind of get a feel for what it's going to look like. I, I love the uh, indentations, you know, design of the hood. And we still have to cut the front off. You can kind of see how much is going to get cut off. So yeah, we got the interior all stripped out. We got the old floor pans removed. So the old floor pans, we got those out, got everything cleaned up um, to install the new floor pans. We left a little bit of the old metal in um, just to kind of make it easier and to give us something to attach it to. And uh, you know, it's just a process of cleaning and getting all that old glue and other stuff out too. Yeah, so basically the new floor pans are ready to go in. The uh, passenger side, we started doing some welds and just starting to get it in place, put the body bolts on, all that kind of stuff. But uh, basically it's pretty funny because as rusted, you know, as rusted as it was, I was surprised at how solid those floor pans actually still were, you know, that metal, because it was so, I can, like, again, I can add some photos in here. Um, you know, it was a little tougher than I thought it was going to be, but, you know, it's, it's out, it's cleaned now, so, um, you know, it's ready for the new metal. It's going to be a lot safer, it's going to be a lot better structurally, it's going to be a lot better to drive. That's the other thing, too, is, you know, some people actually will separate the body from the chassis to do the floor pans and to do all kinds of body work and stuff. And we're still doing the floor pans, we're still doing a lot of body work, but basically the goal of this project is to, to make it safe, make it reliable, drivable, um, functional, all that kind of stuff. But the main goal is to just get it done. You know, we don't want to take six months on this. We would, you know, try and get it done in a month or two and then have some fun with it and then, you know, always kind of bring it back over and basically do like, you know, part two, you know, maybe do like an engine swap or just, you know, tidy up some things here and there. But at the end of the day, just want to make it drivable, get the project completed and have some fun with it. I've got new seats, a new steering wheel, except the, uh, the steering wheel adapter isn't going to be here till January. <laughs> so um, I'm still drive with the old one for a while, but have wheels and tires on the way. Have the uh, rear engine cage, uh, rear bumper. That'll look great. Got the Stinger exhaust on the way. Just a whole bunch of odds and ends. Gonna replace the front windshield. Have plenty of body work to do. I'm uh, really excited. It's a fun project. Like I said, I've always loved Volkswagen Bugs my whole life, and this is definitely, you know, the biggest, most substantial car project I've, uh, you know, done <laughs> in my life or been a part of. So, really exciting, and just thought I would um, kind of give you guys an update, and then, you know, shoot more vlogs in the future. I need to get back in the habit. Um, you know, I always forget how much fun I have shooting vlogs. I just got to push myself to do it. So like I said, we're gonna paint it. Um, you know, we're gonna do the body work, get the car painted and everything. I think, I, I just wanna do white, you know? I just, I think white is also, especially when you're, uh, you know, painting yourself or at home, <laughs> uh, white's more forgiving, but I think white would work well. And then also I wanna do, uh, you know, vinyls, do like different vinyl graphic designs, um, cause that way you're not committed to, uh, you know, one paint job or something like that. So I think, uh, you know, just cutting my own vinyl and doing different like rad graphics and things like that would be fun. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, you know, check out my social media if you haven't done so already. I'm a photographer, so I'm always posting on there. I'm always active. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.